In 2018, there was a study by the Economics magazine that showed that over 37% of Nigerians were entrepreneurs. Today, we have moved up to number one, and over 39% of Nigerians are entrepreneurs. So the real challenge for us is how many of these entrepreneurs will go ahead to create companies that can compete on a global scale. Hi, my name is Mitchell Elebe and I'm Group CEO at Interswitch. Today, I'd like to give you my top five tips on how to take a local startup and make it a company with global appeal. My first tip is be clear on what problem you are trying to solve. Your customers patronize you because they have a challenge and you've created a solution to fix that challenge. So having a clear idea of the problem you are trying to solve has a direct translation to how successful your business can be for being able to monetize the solutions you have into something that hits the bottom line. My second tip is money is necessary but not sufficient. I spend a great deal of time mentoring young entrepreneurs and one common theme that comes across is I don't have the money to chase my dreams. If only I could get somebody to fund me and I will have a problem. Spend a lot of time thinking about how to sell your dream, your vision to those who can support you. The irony of life is that those who have the money don't have the ideas. And those who have the ideas don't have the money. So the first thing you must do is to achieve that balance between how I can take my idea, my vision, the knowledge I have, and put it in front of someone who has the capital to make it happen. Tip number three is, what is your business model? I define a business model simply as your secret for making money. Or rather, your secret for creating value. And there is no right or wrong business model. And that is why you find in most industries, people approach things different ways and sometimes they're successful. So your business model is only right or wrong relative to what it has done, one, to your, co to your competition, two, to the customers that you want to serve, and three, to your stakeholders in general. Okay, lesson number four, Silicon Valley is not African savannah. While it is true that we aim to build global organizations. There's a tendency for us to want to design for the globe, for the world, and forget about the local environment where we operate from. Impact must first be felt by the local environment before the global stage can take you seriously. Fix problems that are here, but the bigger the problem is, the more likely the ability to attract funding that will take you onto the global stage. Tip number five, when the facts change, change your mind. It doesn't matter how well you have planned, it doesn't matter how well you have executed in the past, all of that is sunk. What matters is today and the future. And if you really want to play on a global stage, you need to recognize the fact that things do change. So as you build to go from local to global, remember to build resilience into your business. In other words, Accept that when facts are changing, there's nothing wrong if you change.